was really cool. <laughs> yes, it was. Okay. Um, so, um, um, oh, okay, so today we went to, uh, turtle farm, hospital type thing, and, cause here in Florida they have, um, nesting sea turtles on the beaches, and sometimes they get hurt and injured and whatever, and, like, the little ones are too weak or something, and this place takes the injured or weak turtles and tries to rehabilitate them and send them back in the ocean, and if they can't, they keep them safe and healthy as they can. So today, while we were there, we learned a lot about turtles. And um, uh, one of the things we learned that fishing line is um, tougher these days and it doesn't really like biodegrade like it used to. And they get it wrapped around their flipper. And then when they swim, they swim in a circular motion with their flippers. So as they try to untangle themselves, they just go like this, wrapping it tighter and tighter around them until they constrict blood flow to that limb and it has to get taken off. So we saw a couple turtles that had three flippers or just two sometimes. And that was really sad. Um, okay, so we're talking about the big turtle. The big turtle. So there was this really big turtle. It was like, what, what was it, 250 pounds? Yeah, the person was saying it was like over 200 pounds. Like two and a half times her weight. <laughs> She's tiny. Um, now they know your weight. Awkward. Anyway, so they like had to clean her tank. So they like drained it and started like scrubbing it with brushes. And they were scrubbing her. And, and, and we were asking, we were like, so where is the turtle? And they're like, it's in the tank. We're like, while you're cleaning it, the turtle is still in the tank. And they're like... You want to move a 250 pound <laughs> turtle? And we were like, oh, because that makes sense. So we learned that you can't move those giant turtles and you just have to kind of leave them in their tank and clean around them and they're not too pleased by Wait, that why many humans you in their tank. It? On when they mainly stay in the ocean and the only time they ever go up on shore is when they're born and they hatch and they get into the water or if they're female and they're coming out to lay their eggs. So they, when they're on, in when they don't have water, they kind of just sit there. They can't really move well. like beached whales. <laughs> so we just saw it sat there while someone brushed it with a brush to clean it. Literally, she just had a brush and she was just cleaning and the turtle. And a bunch of old women just scrubbed the outside of the tank or the inside of the tank. <laughs> so we got that, and then we saw the cutest little turtles. Baby turtles. <laughs> they were so little, and they were too weak to get to the ocean. The first time around, so the, these people took them and are raising them until they're a little bit stronger so they can send them back. And uh, one turtle, most of the turtles have like description tags telling you like what happened to them, how they've been fixed, updates on their health and whatever. And this one turtle didn't have a tag and so we asked about it and they said the reason it didn't have a tag is because they literally got it on Easter. So like this turtle was really new. And what they named it Kiwi. I thought that was the cutest name. Anyway, um, what happened to the turtle was that it was eating a fish, and the fish had a hook inside the fish. So the turtle got the hook stuck in its throat, and the line for the hook was attached to a line, which was attached to a sinker. So luckily, the line was long enough that the turtle was able to go out and breathe. But if it had been any shorter, the turtle literally would have drowned. But someone noticed that the turtle kept surfacing and then going back down and then surfacing in the same location and not moving on. So they reported it and they came and they got the turtle and they got it, cut the line, saved the turtle, and then had to do surgery on it to get the hook out of its throat. And now it's just fine. You would know nothing, you yeah. wouldn't know anything was wrong with it. So it was really she'll make cool. a full recovery. <laughs> so, yay for Kiwi! Um, the last thing is, I didn't know that turtles could get air stuck in their shell, but this one turtle had gotten air stuck in its shell, and so the back of its shell wouldn't sink, and it was just float there, which isn't good for being in the ocean because you can't get off the surface, and that's really bad. And also, they eat crustaceans that are on the bottom. And it can't survive, like it's just too vulnerable on the surface of the water. So, um, it, uh, it was actually from looking up so much because it's like back was out of the water and it's front was down like this so it would look up to see and it was starting to get a uh, sore on the back of its neck that had to get surgery on it so they're going to try to remove the air but if they can't that turtle isn't going to be able to ever be sent back into the water so but that's okay they'll put it into a nice little sanctuary thing but let's pray they can get the air out of its shell and then it'll it be good enough to go back all right so that's a lot of stuff. Sorry this video is so long. We learned a lot about turtles. It was really cool. It was fun. All right. Wait, can I tell them what I learned? Okay, go for it. Okay, so 
the gender of the sea turtles is determined by the temperature when they're like in the eggs. And Sam says crocodiles. Are the I same actually way. knew that because I knew. I feel like it's crocodiles, but there's uh, there's definitely another animal that's yeah. young is determined like that. So anyway, um, that's really long. We should go. This is a really long video. Bye, Bye guys. guys.